Hello traders and investors. Welcome back to the Trend Trader channel. In this week, we're going to be looking at the most anticipated earnings release. These are the earnings that will be reported this coming week. As you can see from the list, it is not a, a lot of companies, but in the next weeks, then we're going to start to see more companies reporting their earnings. But in this week's list, there are a couple of companies that uh, are interesting and we are going to cover those companies. If there is a specific company that you are interested in, make sure that you use the timestamp to follow that uh, specific uh, company. Before we start, I would like to ask those who haven't subscribed to please consider subscribing. And if you find value in this video, please smash the like button. So let us begin. We're going to be looking at the chart of those few companies that are interesting. There are seven companies that we are going to cover in today's video. The first company that we are going to cover is a cannabis a stock company. We know that there was a time where cannabis a companies were having a time of their life. One of those companies is Tilray Brands, but as you can see, it is a company that hasn't received much love uh, from the market. The IPO started somewhere around uh, $20 or so, and then the stock quickly went up, reaching as high as around uh, $140 US dollar per share. Since then, the stock has been uh, declining with some attempt to try and trade up. So what we see now, it looks like a TL uh, or Tilray has sort of uh, bottomed. Well, this will also depend on the kinds of endings that they are going to release. Then we can look if there's going to be some opportunities to go along this uh, particular stock. One thing that we should pay attention to is that this low is higher than this uh, recent low. We can see that the stock is trading above a key moving average. There has been an accumulation in the past uh, four weeks. So for those people that are familiar with a uh, stage analysis, we'll also be looking to see if the stock is going to trade above this uh, level. So if the stock does break above uh, $3, then people can start to consider long uh, position in our portfolio we don't trade stocks that are trading below 15 dollars but you can see that this stock is currently at around uh, two dollar sixty cent so if you have interest in cannabis stock this is a stock that uh, you may you may want uh, to look at moving forward we are going to look at cgnt so it's a cognitive uh, software we know that some tech uh, companies have been performing well so far. So if you look at uh, Cognite uh, software, the first thing that we see, the stock is supported by a rising key moving average. That's a good thing. We see that the stock broke above this level here and then it came back to retest this level and then immediately it formed a new high. So it has been trading above a uh, key levels so we like to see stocks that are showing characteristics of stocks that are in an uptrend and it is the reason why we consider this stock uh, what we want to see is going to happen something to keep in mind is this level here around nine dollar forty cent as you can see this could potentially be a resistance level so depending on the earnings when they come if they are positive and the stock break above nine dollar fifty cent that will be a nice confirmation that the price is going to continue to move uh, further up but also you know that the stocks can pull back to recent breakout levels or it can pull back to some uh, key moving average to try and find a uh, support there but at this moment we are also anticipating a move on the upside we're gonna be keeping an eye on this uh, particular stock another interesting company is the wd-40 so if you are a car guy <laughs> you are familiar with uh, the product 
but here we are not discussing the product we are discussing the chart again we can see that wt40 is on a nice uh, uptrend it has been finding support on this uh, key moving average and currently it is closer to finding a uh, support there so what we expect when the earnings come you will see that there's this nice uh, consolidation that has been happening so obviously positive news can easily propel the share price above uh, 260 but also there is this um, mid-term resistance level there that the stock will need uh, to break up against so in short as long as wt40 does not trade below a uh, 240 us dollar per share then it is a stock that you can consider adding uh, into your portfolio but remember it's always better to wait uh, for those earnings to come so that you don't get a surprise especially if the stock move uh, on the downside i know that uh, most traders they do want to hold the position before the earnings and hoping that there could be an upside uh, surprise remember the upside can happen but also the downside can happen so you need to protect yourself from capital uh, destruction so now let us move on to lakeland uh, industries what we see in there so again based on technical analysis lakeland has been finding support on this rising moving average the stock is on a consolidation there so it is at a pivot point if there were no earnings release this would have been an ideal area to buy the stock as you can see also in the last two weeks the stock has traded with uh, there were more people pushing the price higher as you can see that uh, the green volumes there they are above that uh, average volume for the past uh, 10 days so in terms of technical analysis uh, alone this is a stock that uh, you should consider buying but also do keep in mind that the earnings release uh, or the earnings result will bring some kind of uh, volatility one thing that is worth noting you can see that there are those uh, few volatile candles that have uh, happened in the previous weeks so also when the news come out we can also expect another form of uh, volatility so if we were to trade this without taking the earnings into consideration like i said the stock is in a pivot point there is the key moving average there so that would be a decent area to put uh, our stop loss then this difference between $18.62 and about $16 will be uh, our risk. Obviously, the upside, we can't uh, quantify it because we don't know how far the stock can move up if it does uh, go up. But at all times, we are always rooting for a risk of a 1 is to 3 ratio, meaning that for every dollar that uh, we risk, we're expecting to make uh, $3 in that uh, particular position. So the difference here is about uh, $2.50. 50 cent then we'll be looking to make minimum seven dollar 50 cent on the upside so that would be a trade that will make sense in terms of a uh, decent risk uh, to reward then let us move on to a uh, fastenal company they will be releasing their earnings again they also have a decent technical chart you can see that the rising moving average is there but now there is a big gap between where the price is at and also where the moving average is at remember you can always use different um, settings or parameters on the moving average so there will be a moving average that could be too tight uh, on the price or there could be that one is like sort of uh, intermediate tight there it all depends on your settings on my settings it just it shows that uh, there's a big gap but now if you look at the price here we could be forming something that looks like a, a bullish flag but also note that uh, there is that potential support level here on that uh, recent breakout so on the positive news we can expect the share price to break above this level and then that will trigger a long position so this is how i would want uh, to treat that uh, setup i mean you can see that it is a similar setup that happened here there's the support level there's a bullish flag and then there's a breakout that happened on that uh, big green candle there and then as you can see there was a big volume that uh, supported that move remember in technical analysis we always exploit those uh, repetitive uh, chart patterns so we don't have to 
worry a lot uh, about uh, a lot of things as long as we can see a pattern that can be reproducible that makes a uh, logic though and then we can uh, plan on how we are going to trade a particular company and then the last uh, two stocks that you're going to be looking at the first one is jp morgan so they will be releasing uh, their earnings uh, on friday okay jp morgan will be releasing on friday before market open with other banks uh, as well so we saw that uh, from the financials etf it has been on a nice uptrend we can see jp morgan broke above this uh, previous level creating an all-time high so from somewhere around 165 dollar the stock has managed to push to somewhere around uh, 197 a stock won't just trade on a new all-time high if it does not have uh, good fundamentals so the stock already has uh, good fundamentals we just need now to wait and see what uh, if the stock is going to break above the 200 dollar level here especially if it is uh, supported uh, by a good result then in our view we don't have a problem buying a stock that is uh, breaking onto a new all-time high so we will be looking at that uh, particular position on jp morgan and then to close it off we are going to be looking at um, wells fargo they will also they are also going to be reporting their earnings so we know that uh, for some people that are old enough they will always remember 2008 it could be a major pain point uh, to them but you can see that it is attempting to break above this uh, multi-year high of somewhere around uh, 57 dollar but you see there was that high there somewhere around uh, 63 dollars a trend line only makes sense if it touches at least two points so there are so many points where we, we see that uh, multi-year resistance level around uh, 57 so we can wait uh, for the earnings before we pull a trigger on this uh, particular bank stock to see how we're going to play that but if you just zoom in a bit then you can see that uh, there is that nice uh, consolidation that is happening there yeah. so now we can plan our trade around this uh, consolidation obviously a break above a uh, 58 will trigger a long position with a stop just uh, below that resistance level here but also a break below 56 dollar will mean that we need to continue to sit uh, on the side until the recent high of about a uh, $57.58 range is taken out then we can consider taking a long position on this uh, particular stock so yeah like i said there are a lot of companies that will be releasing their earnings but we are just looking um, at the few of these uh, companies in the next uh, upcoming weeks then we can expect to start to see more companies that will be reporting their earnings companies that um, can result in high volatility companies such as uh, netflix among others so yes we are moving forward slowly but there will be interesting companies. We'll continue to add uh, more companies on our YouTube channel. So that's it uh, for today. Again, if you found value in this video, please make sure that uh, you smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, consider subscribing. We will see you in the next video.